So guys, the big question echoing across the tech world right now is this. Are we actually going to see an all-new Mac Mini powered by the Apple M5 and M5 Pro chips? Will Apple bring these compact desktop beasts in 2025, or will their release stretch into 2026, or maybe even skip straight to the M6 generation? Well, today we're diving deep into everything we currently know about Apple's future Mac Mini lineup, exploring the potential features, design direction, pricing, and release timeline that could completely redefine how Apple positions its smallest yet most powerful desktop computer. Let's start by looking at where the current Mac Mini stands in Apple's product lineup. The latest generation Mac Mini currently ships with the M4 and M4 Pro chips, which were introduced toward the end of 2024. This model was a major leap forward for the Mac Mini family, not just in performance, but also in design, a form factor change that Apple had resisted for nearly a decade and a half. The new Mac Mini came out smaller, sleeker, and far more efficient than its predecessors, with a chassis that reduced overall volume by nearly 50%. This wasn't just a redesign for aesthetic appeal. It was Apple signaling the arrival of a new era of performance efficiency. Starting at a surprisingly low $599, the entry-level M4 Mac Mini offers 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage making it one of Apple's most affordable yet high-value computers for creators, developers, and professionals alike. However, the community is already buzzing with curiosity about what Apple plans to do next, especially with the M5 and M5 Pro chips expected to arrive soon. What will change, however, is what lies under the hood. The M5 chip will be the next big leap in Apple Silicon Evolution a chip that will likely be manufactured on TSMC's 2 nanometer process, offering better power efficiency, lower thermals, and higher performance than anything Apple has previously achieved in the Mac Mini line. The current M4 features a 10-core CPU consisting of six efficiency cores and four performance cores, along with a 10-core GPU. For the M5, Apple will probably maintain the same core structure six efficiency cores and four performance cores. But the new architecture at transistor density will yield a significant performance gain. Based on early projections and industry estimates, we could see about a 25% improvement in multi-core performance compared to the M4, with single core speeds improving by around 10 to 15%. That's massive when you consider how much efficiency Apple already extracted from the M4. GPU performance is expected to see an even more exciting boost. Apple might finally increase the GPU core count from 10 to 12 on the base M5 model, marking the first GPU core increase in the entry-level chip since the jump from the M1 to the M2 generation. This could make the M5 Mac Mini a genuine powerhouse for light 3D work, video editing, and real-time rendering, especially for those who want desktop class performance without paying Mac Studio prices. Memory options are another big discussion point. Since Apple recently moved its baseline unified memory to 16 gigabytes across all Macs, it's unlikely that we'll see a higher default configuration like 24 gigabytes just yet. The M5 Mac Mini will most likely retain 16 gigabytes as the base option, with 24 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes configurations available for users who need more multitasking and creative headroom. However, Apple might change something far more important, the storage baseline. 256 gigabytes of SSD storage in 2025 is no longer competitive for modern workflows, even for light users. So it's highly probable that Apple will double the baseline to 512 gigabytes on the M5 Mac Mini, especially if they plan to keep the $599 entry price to attract buyers who want a capable desktop without needing to customize it heavily. Now let's talk about the M5 Pro, the version that will appeal to professionals, developers, and power users who use the Mac Mini for Xcode, Logic Pro, or Final Cut workflows. The current M4 Pro inside the Mac Mini offers up to 14 CPU cores. That's 10 performance and four efficiency cores, and up to 20 GPU cores. For the M5 Pro, Apple could take it a step further. Early supply chain information hints that the M5 Pro could pack up to 16 total CPU cores, 
consisting of 12 performance cores and four efficiency cores. That alone would bring a substantial leap in parallel performance and make the Mac Mini with M5 Pro a serious competitor to desktop grade. Intel and AMD machines in terms of sustained performance and power to watt ratio. Similarly, the GPU could go up from 20 cores to 22, offering improved graphics throughput for creative professionals working in 8K video or running intensive AI-based workloads that benefit from GPU compute power. Now let's get into the performance expectations and cooling system. The Mac Mini's compact form factor means Apple always has to balance power with thermals. With the M5 series moving to a 2 nanometer fabrication process, efficiency gains will be huge. The chips will produce less heat for the same or higher performance, allowing Apple to maintain a silent fan curve even under load. This is critical for professionals who prefer a near-silent workstation. Apple might tweak the internal fan system or vapor chamber cooling slightly to handle higher sustained workloads, but don't expect visible exterior changes. Also, with Apple's new unified thermal architecture used in the M4 lineup, the upcoming M5 Mac Mini could sustain higher clock speeds for longer durations, further narrowing the performance gap between it and the Mac Studio. Let's talk pricing strategy. The base M5 Mac Mini will most likely stay at $599 in the U.S., keeping it within reach of students and creative freelancers who want a capable machine without paying MacBook Pro prices. The M5 Pro Mac Mini, on the other hand, will start around $1,399 for the lowest configuration, including 24GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. Apple could also introduce higher tier variants priced up to $2,000 depending on custom configurations like 64GB RAM or 1TB storage. While global tariffs and currency fluctuations could slightly impact pricing, Apple traditionally keeps its base pricing consistent in the U.S. to maintain a stable product tier across its ecosystem. Now the big question everyone is asking, when exactly will we see the Mac Mini M5 and M5 Pro? Well, this is where things get interesting. Early leaks suggest that Apple is preparing the M5 chip debut in late 2025, possibly inside a refreshed iPad Pro and an updated Vision Pro headset first. These products usually get the new chips before the Mac lineup does. As a result, the Mac Mini and MacBook lines equipped with M5 might slip into early 2026. Apple's release pattern supports this theory. M1 debuted in late 2020, M2 arrived mid-2022, M3 came late 2023, and M4 launched mid-2024, following that roughly 12-month cycle. If Apple maintains that rhythm, we could see M5 base Macs in early to mid-2026. Some analysts even speculate that the Mac Mini might skip the M5 entirely and jump straight to M6 in late 2026 or 2027 if Apple's chip roadmap accelerates. However, that seems unlikely since Apple would want to keep its entry-level desktop lineup updated alongside its mobile chips. Now, Let's briefly talk about software synergy. With macOS 16 or macOS 17 expected to ship alongside the M5 generation, Apple's AI-powered tools will become a major selling point. Features like Smart Assist, Live Translation, AI-driven window management, and generative background removal in apps like Final Cut Pro or Motion will heavily depend on the neural engine's efficiency. This makes the M5 Mini an essential upgrade for anyone who wants to take advantage of on-device Apple intelligence features without relying on the cloud. So to wrap things up, the M5 and M5 Pro Mac Mini models will likely retain the same beloved design introduced in 2024, come with faster 2 nanometers Apple Silicon chips, improved GPU and neural engine performance, baseline 512 gigabyte storage, and more capable connectivity options like Wi-Fi 7 and Thunderbolt 5. The M5 Pro could offer up to 16 CPU cores, 22 GPU cores, and up to 64 gigabytes unified memory, making it a small yet mighty desktop contender for creators and professionals. With potential release timing between late 2025 and mid-2026, 
The M5 Mac Mini may once again redefine what compact computing means in Apple's ecosystem. Whether you're an editor, developer, or everyday user, this could be the desktop that finally merges raw power, minimal design, and intelligent performance in one perfect box. So the only question now is, when it finally arrives, will you be ready to upgrade to the M5 Mac Mini, or will you wait to see what Apple has planned for the M6? One thing's for sure, the future of Apple's most affordable desktop is about to get a lot more powerful, a lot smarter, and a lot faster than anyone expected.